Hi, welcome to today's lesson about how to use a graph to find the zeros and the multiplicity of the function. So first let's tackle the term zero. What does that even mean? It just means the x-intercept, right? Of course we like to use different language, but it just means the x-intercept. And what is x-intercept? Well, that's the location where the function or the graph will cross the x-axis. So if you notice, we have three spots where that graph crosses the x-axis. All right, so it crosses it at negative four, negative two, one, and three. So you write those down. Those are the zeros, okay? So x is gonna be equal to negative four. The x will then equal negative two. The x will then be equal to one. And the x will then be equal to three. These values are known as the zeros, okay? Now what we have to do is then we have to identify now the multiplicity of each. And multiplicity, they would refer to also the same thing as like the power of the factor. All right. Um, if you want to understand like what multiplicity is and how it arises, the patterns I'm going to teach you here, please take a look at the link in the description below where I go through a detailed analysis of why uh, these local, local behaviors happen. Um, or you can just kind of use the shortcut to memorize it, but I really don't recommend that. All right. Anyway, um, whenever you look at a particular x-intercept, Whenever it crosses that axis, all right, it actually like crosses, whether it snakes and it crosses or it just crosses blatantly, like in a straight, almost linear line, you're always going to have then what's known as an odd multiplicity, an odd number, one, three, five, seven, nine, et cetera. All right. Um, again, this one, it crosses. So that's also going to be odd. And it crosses there again and crosses here again. So they're all odd. Okay. Now it turns out that if there's no snaking then, like that, when it crosses the x-axis, well, then the odd number is going to be the lowest odd number of 1, if it just kind of looks like it linearly crosses almost, so to speak. All right? Um, if there is snaking then, then you might have a cubic, meaning x to the, you know, that it might be to the third power or a fifth power. Those are very hard to tell. It'll get a little flatter as you get higher with the multiplicity, but it'll be very difficult to tell. All right? So all of these then should have multiplicities of one. All right, so I'm just going to write that in a different color. They all have multiplicities then of one. Okay, um, the evens would be the case where the function comes up and then it bumps and it comes back down. That would have been even. All right, but obviously we don't have the case here. And that's just why the multiplicities of each of the zeros is one. Thanks guys for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I hope this helps. Like and subscribe if you can. And check out our channel because we got thousands of videos out there. Not only in mathematics, but physics and chemistry. We get a whole lot of other stuff coming. I'll see you soon. Take care.